Holy hell, you are watching The Daily Decrypt, episode 35. I am your host, Amanda, and today's episode is brought to you by Nubits. Exchanged, BTCC, is now offering priority confirmation times for Bitcoin users, even if that Bitcoin user doesn't include a transaction fee. BTCC also just so happens to run a mining pool, which controls 13% of the Bitcoin network's hash rate. So as a perk for their customers, Bitcoin users using BTCC will have their transactions submitted directly to this large mining pool for priority confirmation. So as long as Bitcoin's block size cap remains smaller than the demand for it, we may see other exchanges and mining pools compete with BTCC in this way. A user of the cryptocurrency subreddit is writing his senior thesis, and he has published this survey and he wants you to take it. And I want you to take it. Help the students! They are gonna come out with debt and useless diplomas. The least you can do is take their survey and help them write a good paper. The exchange CCEDK has begun selling crypto equity tokens themselves. These ones are called OBITs. This is following a small but growing trend of exchanges and really just productive enterprises in general issuing their own crypto equity tokens. You may remember that Meta Exchange sells Meta fees and BNC Exchange sells block shares. And they all have like separate ways in which they either pay dividends or offer buybacks or it varies. And to me, this presents a sort of flash vision of the future in which a cryptocurrency and a crypto equity are no longer considered separate things, but rather the line between them becomes blurred and it's all just crypto tokens with people being incentivized to use the most useful and most profitable ones. Future alert! You heard it here first. The Purse Merchants program has been launched in beta and there is early access available. So if you are a merchant who sells on Amazon or Etsy, or rather you want to sell on Amazon or Etsy, but why would you? Because they're not gonna pay you in Bitcoin. Well then, Purse Merchants would probably be the place you wanna go. Early merchants there include Trezor, the Bitcoin safe, Ledger hardware wallet, and private internet access VPN, among others. So sign up and start hawking your shit and get paid. Library is an alpha stage protocol right now, which would make content viewable on URIs, which are not HTTP, but rather library specific URIs, basically combining the functionality of BitTorrent with the incentives of Bitcoin and the file storage capabilities of storage. Now they're looking for people to just try to download and use their alpha software, which has to be done from the command line. And so if you are comfortable with that and you're willing to just download it and tell them how it felt for you, they'll give you a thousand library tokens. You just fill out a survey once you've completed the download process, send it back to them, and you get the bits. Dash has released an iOS app that is similar to Bitcoin's bread wallet. And it includes the Shapeshift API function for swappity swapping currencies within your wallet. And naturally, Apple rejected it from their app store. So Dash has released a version which you can compile yourself and you don't even have to jailbreak your iPhone to use it. An artist crypto graffiti, who you may remember from prior Daily Decrypt reports, would just like to remind everyone of one thing today. Fuck banks. Today's episode has been brought to you by Nubits, which is a wicked stable currency in that it has tracked almost exactly the value of the US dollar for over a year now. And Nubits offers a mobile wallet called the New Droid wallet. And with the Shapeshift API, you can convert your Nubits to Bitcoin on the spot. And so of course, use your Nubits to pay anywhere that accepts Bitcoin. And this got me thinking of a perfect conversation starter. You can ask these merchants, hey, by the way, are you gonna sell off your Bitcoin as soon as I send it to you? And if they are, you can say, did you know you don't have to sell your Bitcoin to maintain the exact dollar value that I'm paying you today? Save yourself the bank fees and the payment processing fees and just convert your Bitcoins to new bits and then you don't have to worry about volatility. They might just give you that beer for free. Visit newbits.com to learn more. Hey, why don't you leave a comment below? I like them. Everybody